So welcome back to Digger Detecting guys. As you can see, we're in the land room and uh, look, we're detecting today, so uh, get excited. Before we do though, I just wanted to share this clip, this video, and uh, basically say thank you. A massive thank you. Uh, over the last couple of months, for the start of 2024, we've been dealing uh, with a few issues. Uh, first one being uh, basically a letter from Heritage Victoria. Now, if you don't know what that's all about, I jump on the Digger Detecting Facebook group or Facebook page. I even put some information up on the YouTube channel there a little while ago. So go through on the community tab and you'll be able to find out exactly what I'm talking about. So a little bit of an issue with Heritage Victoria. And for those that know, all I'll say at this current time is, well, we're going to head above the water, well above the water. And, uh, well, we're coming into dry land. Uh, if, if that's a good analogy for you, we're doing very, very well. So, and that is all thank you, uh, all, all thanks to you guys supporting uh, the petition, the survey, myself, a dig it detecting name. Uh, look, it's all, all thanks to you guys. So, uh, I've done a lot of work uh, trying to get to us to where we are now, but that would never have been possible, never, without that support. So, as I said, once again, big thank you uh, to everybody that's shown that support and I cannot appreciate it enough, and I cannot say how much I've appreciated it uh, in the last two months. So the next thing uh, after Heritage Victoria was I had surgery, my first ever surgery, and it was scary, trust me. Uh, 3.30 on a Saturday afternoon, I was booked in. I didn't see uh, surgery till about 7.30 that night. So sitting around waiting all afternoon, waiting to get uh, to go under the knife. So look, two weeks of recovery after surgery. Uh, we had uh, surgery on the neck and the ear. Uh, getting a few things removed, so I'm basically though back to brand new. The stitches are out, I'm all healed up, and uh, I'm ready to get out and rock and roll. And that's what you're going to see in this next video. So uh, the third thing was, uh, so we've had uh, three strikes this year. Uh, the third thing was I lost my job. So four days after my surgery, I was still on medical leave of all things, uh, approved medical leave. Uh, but four days after my surgery, I got told uh, that our depot, uh, the place that I worked, I was closing down. Uh, so after three years of work, uh, I no longer had a job to go back to. So, and that was a bit of a hard thing because those work hours really suited me really, really well. And it allowed me to get out and do all the detecting and all the filming, still have time to edit and upload and get out two videos a week. Now, we've, uh, <laughs> we've got more time on our sleeves at the moment, uh, but with everything going on, I do still have a lot of work to do, uh, you know, with Heritage Victoria, uh, with, with uh, look, me coin and relic videos that I'm still tying up and finishing off, and not to mention all our new gold videos. So anyway, guys, uh, look, we've got a lot of work to do still in future. We've done a lot of work in the past, but I tell you what, I would never have done it without you guys uh, supporting me, and I cannot thank you enough uh, for all that support once again. So uh, anyway, nothing left to do now but to, uh, to roll the video, and I hope you enjoy. I just thought I'd uh, do a bit of an explanation before we started. Cheers. All right, guys, welcome back to Digger Detecting. Welcome also to an early uh, Tuesday morning, Andrew. Yeah, I should be at work. Uh, Andrew should be at work. He's not, and he didn't even let his boss know. No. He's just uh, <laughs> off off abandoning me out in the bush here. And look, as you see, we've got the gold detectors out today. As I said, it's a Tuesday morning. It's early. It's 8 o'clock. It's been a public hol uh, holiday long weekend, so I've lost track of my days, haven't I? Uh, but uh, look, we do have a new toy in this bag. Some will have seen it there the other week. And uh, as I said, we're out here chasing gold today. Uh, so any guess what it's going to be. So let me get this zip open. We're just getting ourselves set up and ready. And to be honest, I wasn't even going to film anything today. We're just going to have a bit of a play around. Uh, but uh, look, best to show you as we go. So as some will have seen, we've just got ourselves a GPX 6000 uh, by MineLab there. And uh, look... This is its first test, its first voyage out in the bush, and I cannot wait to check it out. So we're going to leave the headphones behind today. We do not need them. It's not windy. It's not noisy. And I really want to concentrate to everything going on around me uh, and listen to, uh, look, listen to everything. So we're going to take a little Mind Lab bottle with us. We still need to get set up and get ready. Uh, do a noise cancel, a ground balance. And my aim of attack today is to wander off uh, through the bush there. And uh, we're sort of in a flat area. It's not a very hilly area. So nice flat area. And we're going to try and test the 6,000 out, see if we can't find a bit of gold. And uh, Andrew's going to do the same. What do you got, Andrew? 5,000, mate. 5,000. And Andrew loves the 5,000 because uh, in our last gold video, what did you find? Uh, 
gram and a half. Big spicy nugget. Yeah, yeah. yeah, how good, how good. And uh, that was Andrew's, uh, well, biggest bit of gold. So yeah. which walkie-talkie do you want, fella? Okay. Blue. blue. You take blue. Okay. Uh, you're a boy today. Oh, boy, boy. Blue, blue for boys. I got green. I don't know what that makes me. Leprechaun. All right, let's make a start. Let's get the 6,000 out and uh, let's turn him on and let's see how we go. And next clip, hopefully we're digging for gold. Right, so we finally got our first target to dig and it sounds like a cracker too. I'm not expecting it to be gold though. Now that is a big signal. That is a blanking out signal. Something big or something sitting close to the surface. I keep uh, keep going to push the pinpoint button too, you know. Pinpoint, doot, doot, doot. there he is. Yeah, but there's no pinpoint uh, buttons on gold machines, that's for certain. So let's dig him out. Oh. I think I've already hit something. Tree root. I'm going to need two hands for this too. There's no way I'm going to be able to drive this pick all day one-handed. We'll just give him a scrape off though. And just see if we can't see something. If not, I'm going to have to put you on the tripod. And, uh, well, it's not actually a tripod anymore. Oh, if I can even get it out. It's actually turned into a dual pod. Oh. No, won't even come out. There he is. Wonky legs. Only two of them. One's fallen out already. So there we go. Had him in the pinpointer pouch. I went to grab for him before. And we're missing a leg. That's all right. I said, I'll put you on the tripod. Well, double pod. And we'll set you up somehow. And we're going to dig out this target together. All right, we've done it. We've got you propped up with a stick. So it is a tripod now. Oh, look at that. We got our target out already. It's not going to be a bit of gold, I bet you. Something in here. God, it's been a while since I've done this. Many years. I do have a little scoop on me today. So let's bring it all back. We seem to be making a mess of this. So keep it in a pile. And we'll go scoop for scoop. Not with the watch. We throw it out. Nothing. Oh, he's been sneaky, isn't he? What is it? Drops it in the scoop. I think it's still in the scoop. It's hard, because I've got a watch on this hand. <laughs> Guess what I just realised? I put that on my uh, little plastic scoop before. Look what's happening. Rookie error. Oh. Alright, well, let's get rid of that. It's not going to do us any good. We've completely ruined this now. <laughs> oh, can you see I normally chase the gold out uh, of coins and relics? That's alright, we're on target. He's up the back here now. We're just pushing him around all over the countryside. What is it? A bit of wire, a nail or something, I bet ya. Aha! The sneaky little fella. 
So there we go. We were mucking around there. Uh, as you see, we had the little doodad on the end of the shovel. He was sending us off target. Uh, but what our target really was, was a little 22 slug, little bullet, little shell casing, or a little ca uh, bullet, should, I should say, little projectile. The casing, well, we'll probably find him next. So there we go. First target with the 6,000. Of course, it's gonna be a bullet. Let's keep moving. I got a bullet! Woo! Did ya? We're both winning then. Oh, first half an hour and we're both winners. I love this game. No, that was that was good uh, good practice. Good bit of fun target. Oh the camera's still rolling. So it is. Oh let's keep going. Alright, so as you've probably noticed by the start of this clip, uh, the uh, the bushland or the surrounding area, it's different, it's changed. The reason being is because, well you guessed it, we've changed sites. So uh, it's, uh, it's a bit hard going. I'll tell you where we were before, it was very, very overgrown. It doesn't not look that much better here, however, leading down the hill it clears up. I'm, uh, I'm just poking around these bushes for the time being. And the reason being is because, uh, well, I've got a bit of a hot tip about this area uh, from a good mate. And uh, working up this area, uh, he said, uh, well, it's a bit of a challenge, but if you can do it, uh, there is gold here. And he's found some decent sized nuggets, uh, three, four, five grammars, no worries at all. So let's have a listen to this one. You can hear we've got something really nice in that hole there. And you notice the ground that I'm going through uh, is very, very, well, very, very mineralized ground. You've got quartz, you've got ironstone, a lot of ironstone. Look at it all. Uh, so look, trying to bash our way through that, uh, no doubt it's not going to be a bullet. Uh, the further we get down, you know, the more chances of it is of being gold. So let's try and set you up. I was going to say on the double pod, but guess what's happened? We've lost two legs now. Ah, oh, the joys, isn't it? So we're going to try and set you up. Well, I was going to say, maybe not. I thought Andrew was coming behind me. It's a random dog. What are you doing, dog? Things you see, eh? I don't know whose dog that is. So look, we're going to set you up uh, with um, the single leg tripod, what used to be a tripod, trying to get this target together and see what it is. I'm hoping that doesn't fall. Now let's have a look what we've got. All right, so we'll dig down a bit further. One thing I've got to remember The one thing I've got to remember Not to pull the dirt out too far, not to scatter it around everywhere We sort of dig out a little bit, check it, dig out a little bit, check it And that's just to make sure the target's still in the hole Or he's actually come out So we don't want to lose, uh, lose him if he's come out already So Why is it 
I feel like I'm digging to China for no reason. Oh, I've got a lot of learning to do. And look, I said I found gold before, but this is a new machine, isn't it? It's all new to me. So what I'm sounding like I'm getting a signal down here, it actually sounds like it's more up in the, uh, in the side bank, in the side wall now. So do I dig further that way or do I dig further that way? So I need to work out. I tell you, for anybody wanting to get into gold detecting and possibly looking at the 6000 here, well, it's a pretty incredible machine. At GPX 4500 that I had prior, I was digging some mighty deep targets for some mighty small things. However, as you can see there, and we've just picked up on this little bullet, this little tiny bit of lead at about two foot down. So really, really impressive. Now look, the 4500 probably would have done very similar, but that hit on it so easily, it blanked out almost. I actually thought I was onto a surface target, uh, being that it was blanking out so hard, but it wasn't. It was a wee little bullet, another bullet. How did I know I was gonna dig heaps of lead today and rusty nails? That's okay, let's fill the hole in and get you on to the next. Right, so it's time for a break. Uh, we put the 6,000 down to have a bit of a rest. Uh, we do have some gold in here. How much gold do you got, Andrew? I threw it away. You threw, threw your gold away. Yeah. Ready for me to catch uh, next time. Yeah. So yeah, look, no gold, but uh, that is not the aim of today. Well, the aim of today is to get gold, if we can. Uh, but the aim of today more so is to check out the 6,000, check out how it runs, check out how it works, and check out how it hits on those targets. And as you can see, well, we've been finding the targets. We've got little lead bullets, we've got casings and shells, we've even got a bit of rusty wire. So, look, if you're finding those, I know that's not gold, but if you're finding those, especially those little uh, round lead shell bullets or those little uh, lead shot bullets, if you're finding things that small and lead sounds a lot like gold, if you're finding all that, you're certainly not going to miss the gold, if it's there. And uh, look, we've just got to walk over it. So what do you got there, Andrew? You've thrown it all away, haven't you? Thrown it all away. All your gold's gone. So yeah, yeah. Andrew got a bit of lead and a bit of rusty nails so far working down the gully. Yeah. And uh, look, it is time for lunch now. So we're going to have some lunch, have a break, have a stop, and then get back on the 6,000, back on the 5,000, and fill up those containers with more gold. So just yeah. don't throw it away after lunch, will you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Salad sandwich for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Compliments with Helena. Yeah. Salad sandwich for me. Thanks, yeah. Alina. Yeah, thank you. Oh, just a quick bite to eat down the hatch, and we're back into it. As you can see, the 6000's turned on. And something that I was not uh, doing there before properly, I was in straight line. Now, you can see there we've got squiggly line on the screen above my thumb. Straight line is normal mode. Uh, squiggly line is difficult mode. And as you can see around here, we've got a lot of... Well, it's all surfaced area, so we've got a lot of quartz, a lot of ironstone, a lot of mineralisation in the ground. So on normal ground before, I was doing the wrong thing, wasn't I? This is not normal ground. This is difficult ground. So I was making it a little bit harder for myself there before. But hopefully, now we've changed that setting, hopefully we're on our first bit of chunky gold. Because that sounds nice. I'll just say to anybody watching this video, uh, if you've been following my channel for for years, you will know that we do the coins and relics. And uh, look, we've got pretty good on that over the years. This is just opening up, uh, look, creating that new element to our channel. And making us a better detectorist because it opens up, well, more experience uh, to more things. Is that our target? All right, we're losing him. We're playing with him. Get him back in a pile here. All right, so he's still off the side. And there he is there. I can see him. The reason being is, uh, well, he stood out. The white. Uh, the white means uh, calcium. Uh, or the white means basically a little lead bullet. And the little uh, little whiteness on it is how it's been. Well, it's basically calcium, calcium rust of the lead. So... Lead rust. There he is, little lead shot. Could have easily been gold. Oh, these flies are crazy. You seen how small that was? And we're not gonna miss the gold, are we? We're hitting on the little lead targets, so we're definitely gonna hit on the gold. So let's open the container up. Let's plonk him in. 
with the rest. I tell you what, if we're um, in the business for selling lead, we certainly made our money today, haven't we? How awesome. All right, so we've got our next good target here, and it sounds like a cracker. As you can see, I've already had a bit of a scrape. We're nearly down onto him. Sounds bloody good. There's my retirement nugget, Andrew. Uh, you're about to watch me retire at 36, mate. Whew, it's been a hard life, I tell you. You're about to be robbed. <laughs> about to be robbed of my dream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. There's probably nothing there. Well, let's do the setup. What do you want to film? No, no, you, you could be the film crew today, Andrew. No, 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 no. Well, I'm no producer. You're no producer? <laughs> you're just a director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this, do that. Yeah. Where's your chair? Yeah, <laughs> the, the director's Andrew chair. Well, let's put you back on the, uh, we're missing a few legs. Let's put, put, you, put you back on the single tripod. What was a tripod? Ah, there, dear. Uh, let's, uh, let's dig this target out and see what he is. We'll try and get you set up on camera. Right, do you reckon that looks like a good filming position? She's a bit crooked. That's what you get when you've only got one leg left on the tripod. So let's be off the side here a bit. Does sound good. Right in the clay. Surely this can't be lead, Andrew. We have found gold here before, so we know it's here. Yeah, you are, I have. <laughs> I have, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling confident. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Oh, he's out. I gotta get. Um, one thing I keep doing, I keep getting carried away, and I dig down so much, and I scoop all this dirt out. And then my target's out, mixed in amongst all the yeah. all the thrown out dirt. Yeah, you got to do it a little bit at a time. Yeah, I need to like one thing I learnt back when I had the 4500 was same thing: do a little bit, scrape a little bit, check it; do a little bit, scrape a bit, check it. Yeah. Um, you know, by taking big gouges out. I'm hoping I pushed him back in the hole now. So yeah, by taking big scrapes out, it's sort of um, well, it's making it harder for me, isn't it? Did we just get lucky in the first scoop? Push all this out. Sounds like gold to me, mate. That sounds like a very sweet sounding bit of gold. It's not steel, I know it'd be fucking going off the tail. It would be screaming if it was steel. Yeah. Blanking the machine out. Ready to see me first bit of gold come out, Andrew? You're gonna hate me, aren't you? I'm gonna rob you. <laughs> this will pay for the fuel up here today, mate. Oh, actually, maybe not. We're getting down to the last crumbs. Yeah, you know the Victorian gold hunters do. They turn the machine upside down and slowly drop the handful of stuff on the coil. Until it makes a sound. Until it makes a noise. As soon as it makes a noise, they get the finger and find where it is and yeah. But that means I have to turn my machine upside down in the... Easy on the 5,000 because then with that big handle sticking up in the air. Yeah. You got the big handle sticking up in the air. Yes. 6,000 is a little bit different. Oh, you bugger. You know what that was? Yeah, that's right. That was you. <laughs> no, you're right. That's definitely it. Well, I'll be buggered. Lead? That's a little bit of lead shot, Andrew. Okay. I think it is. I'm yeah, pretty. It looks gold. Oh, it's gold. Is it? No, nah, it's lead. <laughs> oh dear, there we go. Little tiny piece of lead. He sounded like a good target. Oh, it... Yeah, it sounded really good. It sounded excellent. And that's that's the thing. Gold sounds exactly like lead. Yeah. So no little lead shot into the mine lab container. We're definitely getting rich. 
Yeah, I don't know how we're going to get across here. Straight down, straight up. Otherwise we walk all the way down to the creek. That's a pain. This is what I was trying to avoid before. Because I've done this a few times. <laughs> oh dear. It's hard to get back up the other side too. Yeah, no, nah, it'd be hard. I'd probably better off walking around the creek. Yeah. I would say. Or up the top maybe. Well. Yeah, before it uh, peters out. Yeah. Where's Peter? Yeah. I haven't seen Peter. He's here, he's here somewhere. Peter's up the top. Yeah. Uh, I reckon maybe just wander down. I might try and find a flat spot. If I can get back up the hill, I'll, uh, well, I'll go down it. So I might go down here. Follow me, Andrew. I'll lead you to the good places. <laughs> what if you break your leg before you find the bit of gold? <laughs> Alright, we're going down here. Let's do it. If we fall over, the detector will catch us. Oh, I'm not going to need two hands. Hit stop. Why do we even want to be over this side of the hill though, Andrew? Oh, there's a fox. See that? We just scared a fox out of his bar uh, burrow. Out of his den. Do you want a hand? Do you want me to come to the bottom and I'll catch you? <laughs> Here, throw a shoe detector. Just so you don't come down on that. Oh, this is like mountain climbing, isn't it? I feel like a billy goat. Oh, you're hooked on. Yeah, I've got to disconnect myself. My billy goat cord hooked on. Yes, I've got two detectors now. That's alright. Hopefully they don't interfere with each other. Look at all these Coke cans down here. Unreal. That's fairly steep, Andrew. It is rather. I wonder if anybody's actually detected the hill side of it. Like, yeah, it's a fairly tough go. But it's all exposed ground. And look at the reefs coming out. I'll just sit your detector down here for a second. So I love so much about this spot. It was all hydraulically sluiced back in the day. It was all surfaced, uh, meaning that they, um, they used a whole heap of uh, pressured water to blow off the top layer and blow off all the topsoil down to this um, bedrock and down to the exposed reef layers. So really cool. You can see the quartz, the ironstone all coming through. And uh, with that is generally the gold, generally the host rock of the gold. So you can pick up little bits of quartz, not that bit because it just flew away. You can pick up bits of quartz though and you can generally see where the gold would have been once sitting in little pockets in the quartz and it's liberated, uh, liberated the gold over time as the, uh, well, as the weather wears it away and erodes it. So, very cool. Such an awesome spot. Oh, that's your detector too, by the way, fella. Oh, right. You best not forget that. Yeah, no, I better not forget that. My whale's up over on the hill there. I <laughs> <laughs> hear a whale, a whale. Uh, whale, whale, whale. It's the only problem with gold detectors. They're so damn noisy. Back through the creek we go. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, Andrew continued on up the hill. As you can see, I'm stuck on the hill. That's where we just come down, straight down the guts and straight up. I remember how I was saying that, um, well, has anybody ever detected the side of the hill here? I think not. Well, I think so, but not, just not properly. Listen to this, I said to Andrew, let's have a bit of a poke around while I go up the hill. That's a target. And I'm pretty much standing on a bit of a cliff, very uh, tediously. So I'm trying to dig this out the best I can without sending it off down the hill because then I've got to go chase it, whatever it is. So let's keep digging. Oh, and I've lost my tripod altogether now. It's, so it's broken all its arms off. So now I'm holding the camera. But what I might do is I might prop you up somewhere on the bank here and see if I can't uh, keep digging it out because if it's gold, oh geez, I'd hate to miss it on camera. And you see here, we're starting to get in that real hard, thick layer. Uh, straight through the uh, the concrete or that calcrete grey stuff straight into the clay. So look, this is every chance of being gold. Let's set you up. All right, that's about the best I can do oh, without falling over. I hope this is gold. Oh, you can see how bloody tough that is to dig through. So surely it can't be rubbish. 
I'm putting in some decent swings there and I'm barely even getting through the ground. Welcome to the gold fields. Let's have a look. Let's tip the coil over there a bit. All right, so he seems to be seems to be off in this side area here. I seem to be digging off to the left. So let, let's open up this uh, right hand side. See what comes of it. Whoa, without falling off. Detecting time. <laughs> We're right on it, Buster. We just need to get through this next layer and we're going to see it. Build a bit of a platform for me to stand on because I've got nothing to, nothing to put my feet on. Oh. oh, Jesus. I can't even get through that. I can't get a straight shot with me pick either, as you notice. Keeps going off to the side. Look where I'm standing. <laughs> wow. I thought days out in the coins and relics were tough. Whew. Pretty confident about this. Oh, and I'm sweating. So we'll just take it easy. We'll open this hole up a bit more, and hopefully we can get the coil down in there properly. Really hum around, and I believe the signal. Well, the signal's still in there. I know that, but I believe our target is smack bang, straight in the centre there. And I believe it's gold. Let's go after him. <laughs> We're right down on it. And that is some serious, serious tough ground. Let's grab the camera. Oh, is it even still recording? I hope so. Four minutes 18, yes it is. Our target's right there. Oh, that is some mighty tough ground to get through. It's like concrete, it really is. That is some tough ground. But that is also where the gold is found. So look, I'm starting to be really confident. Uh, today, our first day out on the brand new 6000, well, it's gonna pull us some gold. So let's keep going. Oh, I need a drink. I am that hot and sweaty. That's hard work. Let's keep going though. We'll put you back on the uh, little prop there. See if we can't get out a piece of gold. And then we're gonna yell out to Andrew and say, look at our retirement nugget. Look what we found. All right. <sighs> Up on top of the hill now. <laughs> that was crazy. Quick way to get down. Oh, this is going to be a big nugget. I hope. Fingers crossed. First big nugget, come and ride up. Andrew's none the wiser. It's gotta be gold. You have to be gold. <laughs> Times like these, I wish I had a pinpointer. Whew. Oh, 
Oh, break time. That's got me bugging. Oh man, I've got a big target over here. I'm down about that far. I still haven't got it. With, with this being eroded, I don't see it being a, a bit of rubbish. I don't see how it could be. Just watch that phone propped up on the ledge there. Oh yeah. <laughs> I lost me, lost me stand. Oh, righto, take two, take three, take five. Hardest bit is trying to pinpoint with this coil. Yeah, it makes it awkward, doesn't it? See, to me, I'd presume it's in the back wall there. But then it does that on sort of most walls. So I'm sort of thinking, yeah, it's right at the base there. Yeah, it's at the base. Yeah, so, just by the way, it's sort of singing up. Is when you need a pinpointer, mate. Well, I was singing that before. Imagine if I had a pinpointer. I'd be able to almost like, you know, say it's a big uh, big 20 ounce nugget, my retirement nugget I'm looking for today. Yeah, 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 yeah. The pinpoint would hit on that, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. You don't want to go back to the car and grow it for me? <laughs> I'll keep you, keep on digging. I'll, I'll help you back up the hill again. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Oh, there it is. I just hit it. It's a big gold nugget. It's the biggest gold nugget he's ever seen. See that ground? I'm not doing anything to it. Yeah, it's hard ground. How could, how could a bit of rust or a bit of lead be down in that ground? It couldn't. Couldn't be. Impossible. Not unless a miner buried his bloody shotgun shell. The hardest bit, I keep, I keep checking the hole because if I throw it out and it rolls down there, what am I going to do then? you got to go back down and get it. So I've got to go down and chase it, don't I? It's still in the hole. So we'll clear all that out. It's getting hard because the deeper I get, I've got no swing. You want the small pick? Well, I don't know that it'd do anything to be honest. No, you're probably too deep for the small one, aren't you? Yeah, and just with how much force I'm putting into that big one. I might have to, to get in there and divvy it later. I'll just see how I go. This would be my deepest bit of gold I've ever dug for. Yeah. If it's gold. Oh. It's still going to be in there. I know it's. Oh, I know it's going to be. So tempted to get the pinpointer. Because if I had the pinpointer, I'd be able to know exactly where it is. Yeah, sidewall. Because at the moment, it sounds like sidewall, but I think it might still be down further. So I'm gouging this sidewall out. I might be better off just to keep going down. Look at that. I'm going to work that hard for this nugget, I'm not even going to want it. You will. <laughs> That's got to be a nugget down that far, surely. You would think so, wouldn't you? On a hill. Not unless I use a this for the dump and dump and shit over the edge. Yeah, that's true. And then that's it's eroded down. The only, down. only reason why they'd be stealing amongst it. Oh, you're joking me. Can I steal? All that 
for a pack of steam. What do you reckon it is, Andrew? Pack of steam, huh? They must have been using this as a dump off area. How did a chunk of steel get down that far? Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm probably that far down now. Yeah. Easily. Catch. Part of the horseshoe or something, I think. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, that's, oh, yeah. How, that's how the cookie crumbles, Andrew. There it is. There it is. We've got our target. Let's have a look. We'll spin you around. Well, nearly 15 minutes of digging, and there is our target. It's a bit of a rusty horseshoe. And there's still some left down the hole. <laughs> oh dear, that was a mighty effort and a half. Not only we're on a, uh, what, 70 degree hill, probably steeper, uh, but uh, we're digging down through the hardest bloody ground that we can, and there's our target. See him down there? We just chipped that piece off a second ago. Oh, probably just about like that, actually. Uh, but that is our target. So, a bit of old rusty horseshoe, something, I don't know, we'll try and chip a bit more out. We'll fill the hole in and uh, we're going to get up the top then, see if we can't find some actual gold. Oh, we're going to pack up there guys and finish up. I uh, just wanted to show you this before we go. Uh, all day we've been walking around on this slaty uh, type layer, a uh, base layer. And this is what the miners did. The miners uh, sluiced all the, uh, the topsoil off. You can see bits of topsoil over there, how high the ground was. Uh, so they've taken at least, what, three, four foot off the top of the bank, off the surface here. Same over here, you can see the cutout. Uh, where we're sitting down on the level here that's been sluiced out by the miners some hundred odd years ago. Uh, but look at this though, we've got the clay slate uh, stacked on, on the surface, exposing up through the, um, through the surface there. And all of it just breaks apart, you know, just, it's just so fragile, it just chips off and breaks off and erodes away. So, and with that comes the gold, as I said, it comes out of the clay and the, and the quartz and the ironstone. But this piece here though just got me, and that's sort of why I flicked the camera on. I just thought that was really cool. You've got all the slate, all the clay running uh, northeast, uh, uh, sorry, north south, and then you've got this bit here just sitting there randomly like that. So, very cool. And look at the color change in him yellow, red. I was just saying to Andrew, thank God I didn't drive the Commodore through here, but then again, I don't think we would have got it through here. Nah, it wouldn't have, I think, <laughs> Some pretty serious holes. I remember bringing the patrol in here a few times and scratching the heck out of it. Uh, these bushes, I tell you, they're shocking. Yeah. Someone needs to come through with a chainsaw. That's all right. We're out in the clear now, and we're walking back to the car. All righty, so that is about it for us today. As you can see, we are back at the car, and we're just about to start packing up the detectors. We need to go get the boys. We need to get back home. They are going to be finishing school very soon. So... Just want to show you here though quickly what I dug for the day. Uh, we've got a uh, little container full of gold, of course, with the new 6,000. Whoops, <laughs> we're losing bullets. So what we did dig though, no gold, as you know. I was only joking about that. What we did dig though is plenty of lead bullets and not to mention the little uh, well, the little brass shells and the little uh, lead bullets. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and those little seven bullets, every time I seen one come out, I thought, you beauty, because it's not gold, I know. However, if you're hitting on that, you're not going to miss the gold. So we just mustn't have walked over it in the right, uh, in the right spot today. So our first target for the day was a little uh, bullet shell casing there, a little brass bullet, and as I said, the rest of it is just lead and wire and a few brass shells. So what do you got there, Buster? All your gold your for today? Gold, mate. Well, that's a big nugget. I'll take him. Yeah. He's quite nice. Probably two grammar there, Andrew. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. A bit of so, weight on him. <laughs> so Andrew's got pull tab, two bigger bullets. They look like musket balls, maybe. Yeah. Uh, a couple of little shoddy pellets there. And, well, another... Another 22 bullet. Crimpled 22 bullets. So, and a bit of wire. Yeah. So all in all, uh, well, we probably did just as good as each other. Yeah. So pretty much, pretty much yeah. And look, today... Now you grab your nugget? Yeah. You brought your specie from home, didn't you? 
Oh, you, your rusty nugget. So, yeah, look, today was all about getting out and having a bit of fun, though. Uh, I wanted to get out and use the 6000. I wanted to have a scratch. I wanted to have a play. I wanted to have a hear. I wanted to have a listen. I just wanted to know what it did and how it did it. So, look, we've done that. We are going to continue to get out on the gold or look for the gold. And not every day is successful, and I know that, and I'm okay with that, and many others know that as well. The gold game is quite a hard game. It's not like the coins and relics where you can go to a site, pull a five-cent coin or even a couple of pennies and make your way home with something. Uh, in some cases, or in a lot of days, out detecting for gold, uh, you will literally come home with lead and rust, and that's okay. So a little bit more buffing up uh, to do on the uh, the user manual there. Uh, we're going to flick through tonight and uh, basically put into practice a bit of what we learnt today today are using the 6000 and read back through the manual and try and make a bit more sense of it so also watch a few more videos on youtube because that's where it's at and that's what teaches you a lot and the next time we get out i'm pretty certain or i'm pretty hopeful we're going to get gold so anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed today bit of fun first day out on the 6000 and uh, we'll see you next time cheers